Hi and welcome to another video. Today I would like to have a look into Drag Anchor Strategy in Flutter. Drag Anchor Strategy is a type def which defines a function that returns an offset and takes three arguments a draggable, build context, and offset. This already may hint us that it's working with the draggable widget. In Flutter, it's super easy to implement drag and drop or draggable functionality because the Flutter team already implemented it for us by adding this draggable widget and the drag target. Drag anchor strategy is one of the properties that we can use with draggable. And here it's defined as a strategy that is used by the draggable to get the anchor offset when it is dragged. Now this description is a little bit vague, I think, when we read it for the first time. So we will have in a moment a look at, a, at an example and how this actually is affecting the dragging functionality. I have a very simple example of draggable over here. And because I got pretty lazy recently, I've just copied it over from the Flutter documentation, but it will be enough to showcase the strategies. This is the example running over here. You can see we have this green draggable box over here. If we start dragging it, we have this orange box that is a feedback box that is going around with us. And then also we have this Fuchsia color, I think, uh, box over here that is basically replacing the draggable box that we've seen before. Finally, there is this CM box over here on the right, and if we drag an element over here, then there is some value updating. That's the whole functionality of this example. In the code, you can see that we have this draggable over here. This draggable has some data. This data is an integer of 10, because draggable is of type integer over here. We have some state in this stateful widget, which is the accepted data. Then we have a drag target over here in the row. And in drag target, we have this callback on accept. So if something was dragged into the drag target, then we are running this callback over here, which sets states and takes the data and increments this accepted data, where that data is coming from whatever was set over here in the draggable. Now, as I mentioned, we would like to have a look at just one property in this video of draggable. This property is drag anchor strategy. And as said, there are two already predefined strategies. There is the child, drag anchor strategy. We have to pass it as a reference to this function. And now we specify this explicitly, however, this is a default strategy. So by default, it's implicitly also defined. Now if we go to our app, notice that when I start dragging, draggable, from top left corner, then the orange feedback box is being dragged by the same place where I tapped, or clicked in my case. However, instead if I decide to tap it in the middle, then notice that the feedback box is also following us by having my cursor in the middle. Now, if we change it to the second predefined strategy, which is the pointer drag anchor strategy, then it doesn't matter where I will tap, I will always drag the feedback box by the top left corner. It immediately jumps after I click on draggable. And that's basically what this drag anchor strategy property is, what is doing, uh, what it's giving us. Now, if we have a look into implementation, then you can see, first of all, over here, we have this drag anchor strategy type dev defined. That is this function that returns an offset and takes these three arguments. Then we have over here the pointer drag strategy. And the pointer drag strategy, it only returns offset zero. So it will be x and y set to zero. And this works with the local coordinate system of the box of this widget that we are dragging or we are tapping on, which means we will drag it by zero, zero coordinates of that box. Now, if we use instead this child drag anchor strategy, then we can see a bit more implementation over here. First of all, we are finding the render object and then we are returning a position that is adjusted to the coordinate system of this render object. So this render object has its own local coordinate system, which is, for example, 100 per 100 width and height. But this position that is coming here, it's set in a coordinate system of the whole view. So the width and height of the screen in that case. Therefore, we can use on the render box this function global to local. We can give it a position and then it will transfer the position, the offset, in a way that we will have a position within this box, within this 100 per 100 box. And then we return that position. And thanks to that, when we drag around, we are dragging around from the place where we were pointing at the beginning. Finally, let's also try to implement our own strategy. Let's just copy over here. There we go. 
and let's rename this to let's say that we will always want to drag our element by the center of it. So instead of child, let's call it a center drag anchor strategy. Now I've copied this one because we will need our render object because our render object will hold the width and height that we can use. Here, instead of returning what this previous strategy was returning, let's return our own offset. So here we can use our render object, we can get size out of it and we can type in width and then we can divide it by 2 and now let's do the same with the height. And there we go. So we have our render object which is defined by a container that is limited here by height and width of 100 and then inside of here we take this width and height, we divide it by 2 so it will be in the middle and then we return that offset. Now let's use our new strategy. Here is the application and now if I started dragging from the center you can see the orange box is centered to my pointer and if I start dragging it from anywhere else basically the same thing happens. So what have we learned today is how to use and how works the drag anchor strategy property of draggable widget and also how we can implement our own version of it. I hope this video helped you a little bit with well anything maybe draggables. If so, please like this video, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one. But for now, I called you to death and bye bye.